Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knee, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pereira not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. for this one. Ready. Good. All right, here we go with round one action. We'll see how Alex Pereira chooses to proceed. He is going to have the striking advantage against most of the men in this division, and that is likely how he's going to choose to attack tonight. Leg kicks are truly the stuff of legend, and he doesn't throw it full force, just touching that lead leg, and oftentimes all it takes is one to change the complexion of the entire fight. Connects now with the one-two. striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. He is going after that overhand right. Straight right hand now just misses. Glancing right hand lands up 
upstairs. Well, every MMA fight begins on the feet, and that is music to the ears of Alex Pereira, who has found a home for that left hook early. I mean, that's his best shot, man. We have seen Alex Pereira land this left hook in kickboxing to finish Israel Adesanya, and also inside the octagon where he knocked out Sean Strickland. It is such a powerful strike, and Pereira is a master of it. Great job getting that punch to the target. There by Pereira. Come on, drop the hammer. Oh, nice kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Just out of range with the big right hand. Get back in this or it takes one. Block. Great block there. Three minutes to go. Right now they separate. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Solid kick by him there. Kick. You may want to start checking some of these. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice defense there. Huge block. Stairs with the kick. And I take too many hills. Oh! Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurts because that's the soft. Right. part of your leg, so you land that over and over again. The guy will have a very tough time maneuvering out of a lot of the techniques still left. Everything works off of the jab, doubles up on it there. Give me a double leg. Look at it, look at it. Right hook to the head block. Was able to get that right hand over the top and to the target. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Let's go, go away. Gotta hit him first. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Keep your hands up, protect your face, keep moving. Come on. Trying to establish that jab once again. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Hellasha, Hellasha. Oh, nice jab to the head by Pereira. 20 seconds to go in round one. You be first. Ten seconds. Oh, how about that strike over the top? And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. They can think you're going over to right over the top. Right. That kind of overhand. Great punch. I mean, how about those five minutes, DC? Right, One so of the right. best rounds Move of the year. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. 
All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. So we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Nice punch to the head. Big head kick lands. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. He's hurt bad. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Man, it doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, nice little right hook there. Just out of range with that right hand. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his strike. Oh, he is hurting for certain. Just over two minutes now to go around. Power shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Liddell's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Man, look at him load up on that right. Oh, effective strike there from the clinch by the Iceman. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. And blocks that hard punch. Liddell's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. All right, seems as though his sole focus is a... World of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Massive left hand. Under a minute now to go on the round. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. So Fire Hunter is done holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Good 
All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the All cut right, is on the nose. Straight. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Well, an appreciate. Nothing in the unified rule says you can't strike from off of your back, and he did well there. So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in a fight, you expect for it to worsen because you're not going to not get hit anymore. Right now, he's got to do something to try to limit the damage. Otherwise, it's going to get real bad. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, six seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Chuck the Iceman Liddell. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party. Time. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.